his own money on these blasters, then he doesn't like them at all. Uh, maybe if they were free, then he'd like to a little bit more, be a little bit nicer on them. I, I don't know, it's just a thought. Let's, let's see if it works. So, um, I got a little bit angry. I want to ask Supervisor, uh, is there a return policy? Because, uh, it, I know you sent this to me and it was for free, but I wonder if I can return it to you because this is, it's still functional. Uh, everything's here, it's still functional. So I'd like to get uh, a refund. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, where as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't, and neither are my opinion. And welcome to today's angry review. Today's angry review is on the Wii 2.0 Phoenix from Nerf. And you want to know what, Nerf, Hasbro, Supervisor, whoever, you done fricked it up. Let's get on into a video review. Right now, at the front, there is an insert barrel log, which is great. Moving back, you have one two, three, four, five tactical rails on the blaster, which is great. Freaking fantastic. Now, however, these are designed differently and they don't actually have any spring. It's actually just molded into the shell, um, which is really dumb. Usually it's this orange piece that you're actually able to pull off when you go to open the blaster. We'll get to that later. Um, you have a stupid looking scope, which actually is way worse. This is orientated correctly, I'm not kidding you. The actual reticle is right here. This is the reticle piece of plastic. It's not facing the other way like how it would be or should be in my opinion. Now, I'm going to leave the scope off for the rest of the review. Moving on to the jam door. This is a, the cheap Elite 2.0 plastic that you can expect. It will come off super easily. I did this live on stream. I didn't actually know that was going to happen. I thought I had a jam. I was pissed off about that. Uh, down to the grip and the fire uh, fire gripping, fire control gripping. Uh, the grip is horrible. Like this is this is bad. This is just terrible. I've never held a plaster, and I just I don't like it. I don't like the grip on it's it's so jagged. This piece right here is digging into your, your webbing of your hand, and it is actually painful if you hold it long enough during a war. You're gonna be holding your blaster, whether it's shouldered, where it's like this as a pistol, whatever it might be like, you are holding the grip and it's extremely painful. Once your hands are si like smaller than that, I do have a little bit larger than average size hands, but that's still extremely uncomfortable to have it hit this part of your, it, I would just take a Dremel and a sanding bit or I'd take some epoxy putty and I'd fill in both sides of it just because it's that annoying. That's what I would recommend you do. Um, Moving to the uh, rev trigger, it's okay. It's a plastic wave spring. Moving to the mag release, this is a horrible mag release. No one should ever freaking use this damn thing ever. It's using the back of your, your knuckle. Like this is painful, this hurts. And on stream, I'm pretty sure you all could see that my finger was starting to get freaking red. I'm pretty sure that showed up on stream. I don't remember exactly, but once you do that, you're able to pull out the magazine. The magazine included is a six round uh, standard magazine, which is insufficient for most uses. Uh, the magwell, let's talk about this magwell. This is purposely, had to have been purposely designed to make sure n not a single adapter would fit into it. I have tried a dart zone adapter to see if I could convert this to short darts because I was thinking about doing that, but not anymore because it's not even worth modding the adapter won't actually fit into the blaster. Part of it wants to go in, but once you try getting the other part in, it's just not going to go in. And so I don't know if that was designed with intention or not, and I don't care if it was or wasn't. That's freaking stupid. This is a standard end strike magwell. So they've changed something down there to make sure that that doesn't fit in there, or they changed geometry. Something in there has been changed, so it will not go in. And I don't know what it is, and I'm curious. Um, it's just, it's just, come on, I am sick of this, dude. I, 
never been so annoyed with a blaster before. I've had three of these. I've burnt the motors out on two of them. This one was from Tesla, uh, Tesla uh, and Tesla's Nerf room. So thank you for providing this blaster to me, which I will eventually destroy. On, on to the firing demo. I have no words. On to the firing demo. You guys don't even get any music for this part. I got six darts on showy darts loaded up, ready to go. Fresh double A batteries. I hate this thing. Now, my final thoughts and opinions on the. UE 2.0 Phoenix. Don't buy one. There's just, there's no reason to. I get it. And I've seen people open these up and mod them and that's great and everything. And I think that's cool. But it is honest to God, do not buy this. In a capitalist society, you are voting with your dollars. If you put your dollars here, there's, you're saying, hey, I like this. I want you to make more of these. Please keep making them. That's why the strife is still on Amazon since it's been re-released back in like, what, 2017, 2018, whenever it was. So yeah, the strife is still around for a specific reason because they keep getting more money from us because we buy so many stripes. Don't buy this, do not buy this. I bought mine secondhand from Tess. So again, thank you for sending this to me. I do appreciate it. But uh, let's be real here. I'm going to disassemble it rip it apart and I'm going to take out whatever I think is actually useful and viable and um, just destroy the rest of it because there's no need for this. I don't have a reason to use this at all. There's, it serves no purpose in my collection. So it will be destroyed. It's going to be dismantled. I'm going to take out the seven, two, four, six, yeah, seven screws holding it together and un, you know, like just break it open. Probably the most valuable thing in this blaster is the trigger return spring, honestly. But I don't even know if it runs on a spring or not. It could be a geared pusher for all I know. And I'm hoping it isn't, but we're gonna see and find out here in a minute. And I'll actually let you guys see what the inside of this damn piece of crap looks like. So let's get to that part. I just want y'all to see this real quick here. So I was, I know there's clips under here, right? So like, okay, a few I have to pop. Look how deep these go. Look how freaking deep these clips are. Into the freaking blaster. Do you see this? This is, this is downright infringing upon my right to open up the property that I've paid for. I'm trying to get it open with a freaking screwdriver and it's starting to tick me off. So it's, it's downright unmoddable unless you really have the patience and time to do it. Buy a freaking strife guys. I'm gonna try to crack this freaking thing open. I know it's solvent welded. Oh god, there's no way. There's no freaking way. I'm going to, I'm gonna try to stay calm during this process, guys. Stay with me. Seen this. Look at this crap here. Freaking solvent weld. Look at the thickness of this crap. I'm so sick of Elite 2.0. I just want to open this damn thing. To get whatever's in there out, get the parts out, the motors out, whatever. But no, frick. Just, I'm, just, look at the clips on this damn thing. These are what is holding the blaster together by friction. These are put in place. And they snap in. I'm not gonna, no, I'm good actually. But like, they snap in. And these little hooks hook onto the inside on the top. So you're unable to pull them out super easy. This freaking here. I tore <laughs> just got this side right here. Look at this bull crap process that you have to go through. Look how it's being held together. Look at all this dead space. If you wanted to cut cost has bro, you wouldn't have this much dead space right here. You wouldn't. You would shrink that as much as you could. But no, you didn't do that. And that probably would have saved you money because you had to use more plastic to make it rise up like that and make it look like you had a fat stomach or something. Or I same on the top, bottom part, part right here. If I find the piece, right here. I was telling you guys, this is molded in to the plastic. It's not like that it used to be. That used to be a piece that would come off separately when you would disassemble the blaster. 
And this is how I'm doing it right now. This is how I have to do it to get anything useful out of this damn thing. Because it's not going to do any good sitting around doing nothing. Oh, f Freaking serious? You gotta be kidding me, you son of a f What a piece of Alright, um, yeah, if that's just me, I'm so sick of this damn thing, dude. This thing's going to directly into the trash. I was really hoping this would have something in it for me, by the looks of it. Yeah, it's fixated and pissed about that. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't, and, uh, clearly, neither are my opinions. All jokes aside, guys, don't buy the Phoenix 2.0 from Nerf. Buy a Strife, support a blaster that is actually good and not bad. Now, if you plan on modding, buy a Strife or a Spectrum, whatever one you prefer uh, ergonomics-wise. But otherwise, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't, and neither are my opinions. Today's out.